Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a brand new Let's Play, and this time we're going back to the classic Mega Man universe. We're not continuing the numbered series, no, 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 we're going to take a quick little detour into a Sega Genesis game that didn't get a physical release, but it was released in America, I'll explain that as it goes along here. But Mega Man The Wily Wars, basically a compilation of the first three Mega Man games in 16-bit form with some added bells and whistles and a little added extra area at the end. And today, I think we're going to go through each and every single one of these uh, Mega Man games here. As you can see, uh, Mega Man's 1, 2, and 3. Figure it's been a while since the Mega Man 1, since uh, I think I started with a 2, actually on uh, for the SCG portion of this channel here so I feel like it's fitting with that plus get to see the upgrades see the changes made from the original from the NES to the Sega Genesis let's no we're not we're gonna clear file too okay cool so let's go ahead and make sure that's a thing there we can choose our games to start with as well we can choose Mega Man 1 Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3 we're just gonna go in order here And you can see here, it's playing the tune to Mega Man 3 on the intro in the original NES 1987 release. That was not the case. It was just a blank screen. Hell, Mega Man wasn't even on screen. It was just Mega Man. Wasn't even pictured like that. But we're going to go ahead and keep things moving, shaking the bacon. We start off with six robot masters of the day. Cut, uh, starting off, uh, they're introducing Cut Man, Guts Man, Ice Bomb, Fire, and Elect Man. We're going to go first to the Guts Man himself. Keep it moving, shaking and baking. And you can see the upgrade made to Mega Man Sprite. He is bigger in the, than the, his 8-bit uh, counterpart here. He used basically on the original. Uh, Sega Genesis controller, you would use C, uh, C to jump, A, uh, B to shoot your pellets, A is like a start button of sorts, you can also press start as well. Ah, and you got little of the tools here. Man, you can see the background added, you know, gra the 16-bit upgrade that this game got. You can see you have like backgrounds, actual backgrounds at this point. Gotta watch out, jump through this section here. What you want to make sure is you want to watch for that bottom piece. There you go. That's how you get through that. But, uh, yeah. Like I mentioned with uh, America getting this game. America, fuck yeah. I don't know why it came out of my mouth like that. But uh, with the American release, um, we got it via basically like the Sega channel. And it's a, it was a weird thing back in the day in the 90s. Uh, basically, it was like a cable subscription service. You got this uh, piece that you got from your cable company. It was like from Sega. I think it cost like 15 bucks a month to have, but it was like an attachment that you could have along with your cable stuff, and it plays uh, Sega Genesis games. I can't believe I did not die there. But uh, you can play Sega Genesis games, and I think there was going to be games exclusive for that. It was games that you... It was games that you downloaded, essentially. So basically like a DLC type deal uh, before DLC was a thing. I... God, I suck. Okay. Oh, oh, I managed to get under that without taking any damage. That never fucking happens. Jump through the boss door here. But yeah, like you download the games, you play this. Sonic 3D Blast, I believe, was going to be a game that was going to be for that. But Mega Man The Wily Wars was a game that you can download for, specifically for that service. The game never got a physical release in America. Jap in Japan and Europe it did, but never in America. First boss of the game, Gutsman. Let's keep it moving, shaking and banking here. And you can see, like, there could be quite a bit of slowdown as well with uh, this game. Because this game is not, for some reason difficult to handle with the uh, I don't know if it's just like sprite limitations or whatever the case may be I just gotta make sure not to just gotta be careful a couple more shots beautiful
Sweet. And a good thing about this uh, game, Mega Man Wild Awards, you can actually save your progress along the way, too. So now that we defeated Cuts Man, now the robot master that is weak to it is Cut Man, but we could also go after Bomb Man as well. But you know what? We're going to go after the weaknesses uh, in this one here. So let's go straight to Cut, shall we? Beautiful, and you can see the background in this level changed drastically from its NES counterpart. And getting some health and some bonus pellets in the process. Of course, the first Mega Man game, the only Mega Man game to have a score counter for some fucking reason. It's not like you can save your high score or anything like that. It's not even an uh, arcade style game either. It's just a regular platformer. Uh, well, actually, no, actually, I take that back, because back in the day, there were, you know, platformer had scores, but it's not like it's, but it also saved it. I think the, did the original NES save your high score as well? I don't recall. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it did, though. There we go, into Cuts Man here. We got, uh, damn, I forgot, Susie's. These are the name of the enemies here, making their debut here. And I think they make a they, uh, they make an appearance at least every single classic game, if I'm not mistaken, in one way, shape, or form. Beautiful. You want to destroy these? They take a they take a bit of uh, bullets in order to destroy here. Ow! Almost had one hit me across the face with that one. Slowly making our way towards the rest of Cutman stage. Let's go ahead and get the uh, health here. Okay, you know, screw you too. All right, that's how you avoid that. And not even waste bother any time with that. Ow! Jesus Christ! Took a chunk of my health. All right, let me see if you can give me some health here, please. Thank you, really appreciate it. A little bit more, please. Uh, that's a uh, weapon power up and weapon energy, but uh, health, no, no. Okay, that's cool. All right, switch out to Gus Man's weapon here. Gotta get to the side here where Cut Man is. All right, so now that takes care of that. If I manage to hit both of them with, uh, if I had managed to hit both of them with those two rocks, he would have been uh, defeated easily, but I think I might be in trouble now. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that's no, no bueno. That is actually not good, like at all. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. Oh, this could be disastrous. Ah! Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? I thought I had one more life. All right, I'll see you back there. Fuck. All right, kill me now, because it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Shit. Can't believe I missed twice both times.
baby. All right. <laughs> Damn, that was rough. Yeah, that's uh, you gotta require some major focus on that one if you have to do that shit buster only. Holy crap. Alrighty, so now that we got cut, man, the man that is a weak to elect, man, and plus there is an item here that we do need that is mandatory if we want to complete the game now that we have Gutsman's weapon. So let's go ahead with that. And here we are inside of a Lechman stage, and we're gonna make our way towards the top. A Lechman stage is, of course, electricity theme based, if you haven't guessed for yourself. Soundtrack in this game is really nice. It's basically 16 bit renditions of the original 8 bit versions. A lot of them, however, for me personally, uh, they don't they don't slap as hard as I feel like they should <laughs> but it's not until we get to the final uh, portion of the game is where the game really slaps with the music so there's a one more beautiful no I don't want to go for that I don't want to take no chances or anything like that That was a free guy. Woo! Gotta be careful here. Just keep on going. I tried. And there is the item in question I'm talking about that you need Guts Man for. And I believe this is called a magnet missile or whatever the case thing, but this is basically builds a platform for you. It does have its own power meter, and I will show that off later on when applicable. But uh, actually, no, let me go back to here right now. Let's just go ahead and keep moving up, moving, shaking, and baking, shall we? Ow! Beautiful. Ow! Not cool. Not cool. Whoa, I can't believe I almost died there. Sweet. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. It killed me. It killed me. That's okay. Well, don't need the health now. Son of a bitch. Oh, get up. The fuck? Okay. Alrighty, so here we are. Pull out the cut. Cutter. Watch out for that. Those things do hurt, and that knockback is insane. You got two rows of this shit. Beautiful. A little bit more to go. And here we go. Shit, 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 shit. Thank goodness. Oh my god, okay. And that's gonna take care of it for this episode. We got half of the Robot Masters down. We got three more to go in Fire, Bomb, and Ice. And I will see you guys for that episode in the next one. So until then, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantastic day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.